Hello guys, my name is Tikila Moses from Tikila Dream High School. Uh, we are located in, in Nyandalo County, uh, basically uh, the CBD town, Ankara town. We are just doing for station. And today, guys, I welcome you to this video tutorial on how you can be able to depict such a very handsome and uh, hyper realistic pencil drawing, which I call it a, phen a phenomenally hyper realistic uh, to an extent that I have already uh, used the various pencils and the various perspectives for me to be able to execute this uh, beautiful skin texture, uh, very handsome of our President of Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Samuel Luto. Uh, these guys, uh, that, that's why I'm saying it is a hyper realistic drawing because I want to take the best time to be able to depict my present. I love it so much and anytime I see this photo, I have done a uh, few of, uh, of them uh, and he has been able to, uh, uh, you know, help me. Uh, I'm very happy for him. I was very happy even, even the moment uh, I'm doing this uh, photo realistic depiction. It's actually uh, an amazing step uh, going forward. So guys, um, just to highlight on what I presented, you can see the skin texture. Uh, I think the photographer who took this photo is actually the best and such that I can be able now to view all the basic properties of the skin. Uh, and the moment I'm uh, depicting them here, I want to be them. I, I want to be exact. Uh, that's why I'm calling it a photorealistic, which is a phenomenally hyperrealistic pencil drawing. It is a pencil drawing. You can see. Uh, we uh, use uh, uh, perspective drawings to use a one B uh, to a six B pencil for uh, to differentiate the extent of the contracts of or, or, or over drawing or maybe uh, the spaces that are much darker. Uh, we have specific pencils uh, which are to be pressed uh, or to be used at that particular place. So guys, uh, now I welcome you this to video tutorial. Visit my YouTube channel, Tequila Moses, uh, during our school uh, for these ones and many more which are upcoming. We are also going to, uh, you know, uh, introduce another good topic. We call it perspective drawing. And uh, throughout this process, uh, I have conducted uh, a lot of uh you know uh techniques for me to be able to execute uh this uh, portrait so i would like you to follow them step by step and not be able to explain because this uh photo is uh, uh needed uh tomorrow so uh i want to be very straight and uh no i know i want to be exact so guys make sure that you follow this step by step make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel to keep up with me and also if you would like to see me here the day uh another day make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel here with so many friends as you got uh, such that uh, many people at least get this concept also to the cbc incoming incoming cbc this is also a good opportunity a good opportunity actually for you guys uh with tequila moses we are able now to view uh, and to you know to upload our videos throughout our youtube channel so uh, thanks to the uh, digital space so remember the education right now is going online uh, that's uh, uh, a good opportunity for anyone uh, that you don't it doesn't matter you know even if you you are learning for uh, the purposes of maybe improving your career that's also good so what I'm doing right now, I want to have this kind of hyperrealistic hair, even though uh, they are not clearly visible in this photo, but as an artist, you are supposed to view things beyond uh, the cameras, um, uh, extent, the extent with which the camera uh, shows up or, you know, depicts uh, a person's a person's hair. So, and because I can see even inside, uh, I want to uh, use uh, this graphite dust to first of all make some uh, dark and light shades uh, as the backgrounds of this hair. Uh, I'm sure it's gonna be a, an amazing photo and how I wish that His Excellency the 
Dr. William Samuel Ruto will be happy if at all he will be able to uh, have this portrait drawing. I'm doing it with a lot of love. <laughs> so uh, in every step I'm making, there is kind of a song in my heart. So it's kind of amazing. Uh, just to take you on, you see, but we are just uh, far away. We are just far away uh, because I want it to be the best. Yeah, I mean the best uh, I would have ever done. So after that now, I can now use my pencil to add the final marks of this hair. Uh, then uh, I'll be able to see how far I've gone as far as this drawing is concerned. So if you find this video helpful, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Titular Moses Askul. Uh, sh share with as many friends as you would wish. Uh, and also view, subscribe, you know, to add me more and more, you know, um, loyalties. Uh, I can see that. Because uh, you can see uh, I'm doing it at free. So you guys, the only thing you need to do is to subscribe. And if you do that, do that, God will bless you. So guys, at Tequila Doing Art Center, what we normally do, we execute house plans to uh, 3D rendering for architecture. Remember that is the modern building, uh, modern architectural building plans. Uh, scale model is a full detailed plan whereby uh, uh, you are able to convince your investor of that. Uh, this is my final product, this is how it's gonna look, this is the final project such so that uh, it, it's appealing to the eyes of the people or the, eye, or the eyes of the investors, then they can go ahead and you know, uh, invest in your project. So don't hesitate. If you're an architecture outside there, don't hesitate to hire a 3D artist like me to who can be able to help you execute on your craziest ideas. So the 3D rendering for architecture is much and well taken. Uh, we will also be airing online tutorials on the same. Uh, like if you are an architect and you are finding it hard to understand the concept of 3D uh, uh, rendering, we will at least be uh, trying to uh, you know, tackle some of the hardest tasks that you guys feel uh, they are much hard so that we know where we can be able to help for the higher learners that is the uh, you know college level and also at campuses level i am not a trained artist so i haven't gone to any school to uh, to acquire this knowledge this is what have uh, just what god has uh, instilled in me uh, well that's all i can say because uh it's what is in me already and i thank god so much for actually giving me such an a, a golden chance you know a golden opportunity yeah, you a golden uh, uh, a golden talent i can say that um only what i can uh, say is uh that he forgive me my sins because despite the fact that uh, we I, I, we can go this far. Uh, we are still sinners. Uh, so how I I play each and every day, God to keep my uh, soul in His hands, in His hands. So so that even if I perish, I perish. Uh, you know, in accordance with His will. I have to have done what God uh, wanted me to do, so that I can be boastful. Because I can be boastful so much for this talent. Yeah? I should be boastful for God. God has taken me this far. So guys, uh, let's go back to this tutorial. Uh, you know, if uh, you have seen uh, this uh, kind of a photo closely, you can see there are some more code. And then you have to follow uh, the art of the 
uh, of the hair uh, because uh, if you can see if you are barber uh, you can tell uh, it is true that uh, uh, not all hairs uh, on your heads or uh, of different people they tend to follow a certain or a particular uh, you know kind of uh, array array the, yeah I call it array and the array uh, is different uh, from one all differs from one uh, person to another it's like the fingerprints they differ mm -hmm. the way they look it is not the way they look uh, at anybody at all at everybody they have some kind of a, a bit different um, Uh, according to me, I would think this is the best kind of portrait uh, I've, ever, I've ever done. Uh, I can see it from afar because uh, God have uh, actually added me more expertise uh, because I can see some new uh, uh, interferences uh, and not really they are interferences, but they are very good, very good, very good interferences. So we have been doing a uh, type of uh, uh, realist, realist drawing, but this one have went to an extent of a phenomenally hyper realistic. We later on come after I'm done, I'm gonna move my, my, my camera closer so that you guys understand the whole thing about uh, this concept of hyper realistic nature of this drawing. Uh, so guys, the aim of uh, starting this video tutorial is after a lot of people have complained uh, these are not uh, photorealistic, realistic doing, they are not really drawing, but rather uh, something that have been done uh, using uh, some, uh, you know, apps that uh, bring ads to the smartphones that you can, uh, you know, depict your photo in but this is not that of that kind you can see it is uh, a well narrated one and also guys i i welcome you to uh online uh, interaction uh, you can ask as many questions as you can uh, so that you motivate me to produce other videos so that i can be able to answer the question you may have asked at the end all and this intervals of these drawing techniques. So I just love my presence so much and that's why it's have been an inspiration to me. Anything I've been doing uh, uh, to him, it has been actually a way last time he was here I, I, I was able to uh, give him a portrait also but this is more and more hyper uh, I'm sure I, uh, if God helps me I'll be able to talk to him about this uh, so that we see whether we can be able to upgrade our We see whether we can be able to upgrade our learning institution. To the incoming CBC transition system, I hope uh, you guys also try to use this, uh, uh, grab this the golden opportunity that that uh, our schools be enabled with Wi-Fi for runners to be able to view this and more because that is the only way we can be able to tackle this uh, uh, widely using digital on the online learning. And considering the fact, uh, the fact that this is uh, a well-narrated video, you can ask as many questions as you can. Yeah? Like you can ask which kind of a uh, 
uh, or which type of uh, pencil I'm using. And I have said I have one uh, to one uh, one B to a six B, depending on the contrast or the extent of the darkness I want. Like now, I'm using a three B because uh, I'm trying to make kind of make some uh, a bit darker. Uh, uh, you know pencil marks which represents the hair and because there are some you know kind of white hairs appealing uh, I have used another interesting technique which is called technique uh, the denting method so that they can be able to execute the white uh, kind of uh, beards and the white hair on top of his excellency Dr. William Samuel Dittas head and actually it's the amazing yeah it's amazing I think I can still with it no but it's only that I have to give it to my president uh, I cannot give him money I cannot give him land yeah? he's going to his back uh, I can only feel it is a good thing I tell him one so that anytime he sees this something uh, tends to happen in his mind. That's why I want to do it uh, with a lot of concentration, perfection, yeah? and with a lot of expertise. So, uh, guys, if you missed the last lesson, you can also visit on how to draw his excellency Dr. William Samerito, part one. This is the part two uh, of the same, so that you can be able to see all the uh, various topics that have been covered throughout the drawing process. Remember, there is a sketch uh, through where you can sketch very uh, uh, well and where it is rolling and to the exact so that you guys you can also be a sketch master then uh, I moved on to branding uh, we branded uh, this photo to this extent from there uh, we went also to uh, you know shading shading after shading we blend after shading we blend then from there uh, I uh, we move on, on to another technique that is called denting method whereby we were able now to uh, bring out or bring forth all the various details and of the hyperrealistic skin texture that we wanted or leather uh, a hyperrealistic hair drawing.
so then you repeat uh, and repeat so many s shaped uh, marks on top of each other overlapping each other physically we, so guys uh, we don't want anyone to basically uh, you know try to uh, determine or define the starting point or the end point of any kind of uh, drawing or any marks here so to keep that uh, we you should repeat more and more uh, curved and rain on top of each other to an extent that you cannot now be able to tell where this kind of then is starting or ending So guys, see how far we have gone. You can see it's clearly hyperrealistic drawing. You can see that kind of a skin texture. It has been done with a very uh, important and very uh, extensive technique known as uh, painting. Method. Now I can now try to get rid of the dark that I don't want.